Hello there, pretty friends. It's Allison Wheeler. I am coming on today to talk to you about cropping in Lightroom. There's been um, a few, actually three, four maybe, topics over on the Facebook, Pretty Preset Facebook page about uh, trouble you're experiencing with using the cropping tool and how it relates to prints maybe that um, it's not working out like everything is off and it's cropped all incorrectly once you send it to your print lab so I'm going to make this little video to show you um, how exactly to work with the cropping tool in Lightroom so that you guys can have great images um, to print for either your family or your clients okay so you pull up an image in Lightroom and to get the crop tool you come over here and click mine was already on so I'll just click it over here or you could tap R on your keyboard to get it to come up. And um, one of the big keys I think everyone is having a tr trouble with is right here. See this little lock right here? If this is not locked, it can mess up your ratio. It, your image is you know, in this one specific ratio that will print out nice as like a four by six or you know anything that's a multiple of a four by six. So I'm terrible at math in my head, but like a um, any like a four by six would be four times two is eight. Six times two is a twelve. So like an eight by twelve would be the same ratio as a four by six or um, a sixteen by twenty four, which is just um, four times larger than a four by six. But anyway, so if you have it locked, it's going to stay. See how it's it's your ratio stays the same. If you have it unlocked, it it won't. Like you can make it really long and skinny. You can make it square or rectangle. It's not. So if I wanted to crop it like this, um, this photo right here, it looks like a square. That's not going to print as a four by six or an eight by ten or in any of those uh, kind of preset, predetermined um, images. I guess that your labs can print. It, so it will crop. So say I, I crop it like this and then my lab, I say, okay, I want to crop this as a four by six. So, oh, not that. You would come over here and grab your four by six and your lab will want to crop it like that. And it won't be in your original ratio. So always, always make sure it's on original and locked. Otherwise, you're going to get that funky... Um, funky shoebox ratio or something that's not going to fit in your lab's um, uh, row system or ordering system. So if you keep it at original and keep it locked, you will got, you guys will be good to go. Um, you can come over here if you want to crop to a specific size, but I don't really recommend doing that. I like to keep my images as large as possible, keep the entire file size until I take it over into uh, my rose ordering system, and then I'll allow them to crop it to the dimensions that I want to order, because I don't want to disturb anything in the actual file. So say if I imported this into the ordering system and then I wanted an 8x10, I would let the ordering system uh, determine what ratio, the aspect ratio of an 8x10 and then I would adjust it in their ordering system and not in Lightroom. So like I said again, keep it at original and keep it locked and I think it will solve all of your cropping woes. Anyway, I'm happy to answer any question you guys have, so ask me on the Facebook group or, or over in the forum. Have a good day.